rise. Board is in session. Okay, um, please be seated. We did contact the county and um, they are going to adjust the temperature remotely for us. So it should be okay. We do need to close those outer doors. Just before we get here, the video is a little bit dark on the projectors. Is there a way to turn off? Okay. So now we're going to be in the dark in the evening. <laughs> um, that's another facility issue. <laughs> I don't know if it's can be done. Yeah, we can be done. Right. And Chair Schultz. Yes. Is it just, did that just happen? Yes. We, we just, uh, All right. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Are we talking about the light? Yeah, no, about this, the picture. Oh, it was up there already. That's, that's what right, I mean. is, but that just happened where it was dead like that? Yes. That doesn't really help you much, does it? As long as the court can see it, right? <laughs> Which exhibit is that? This is 30. It's a 10 second clip. There is a 31 as a brighter video. So I'm going to do this 10 second clip. Did it happen after you hooked back up? No, this is just the way, it's just a dark video. Okay, go ahead and try it, and if it's an issue, then... And we have to get it uh, to the court in the flash drive as well, if, should the court want to view it another time. I don't know if I can do it on this one. On your laptop? Yeah. You're really testing my electronics and technical <laughs> expertise. Yeah, it's not good. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and try it, and if not, then... Is that picture right now for yeah. publication? No, that's fine, I can see it. Perfect, thank you. All right, well, go ahead and proceed. Think we're back on the record, thank we're you. We're back on the record, yes. Okay, Detective, we were at Exhibit 30. Um, now, there were, on the text thread we're referring to, between Ethan Crumley and the other juvenile, there's 25,000 or so text thread. There were videos included that you viewed? Yes, sir. Okay. Specifically, on um, August the 19th of 2021, did you view a video on that text message thread? Yes, sir. And that was a video sent from Ethan Crumley to that other person? Yes, sir. Okay, and that's people's 30. People do move to admit 30. Any objection? No, Judge, no objection. None from Mr. Crumley, Your Honor. Can we admit it? Okay, I'm going to refer your attention please to the screen to make sure we're referring to the same exhibit. <laughs> now, sir, this was August the 19th of 2021, and it appears to have a person holding a handgun. Is that correct? Correct, yes, sir. Okay, that noise that we heard at the end. What was that? They, uh, the person hit the slide lock release, so then the slide went forward. That's exhibit 30. Did you also review a video in the same text thread, the same conversation, shortly after that one was sent in the early morning hours of August the 20th, 2021? Yes, sir. Okay, this is People's 31. I believe there's a stipulation of People's 31. That's correct. No objection. No objection for Mr. Cumber. We admit This is an 11-second clip. Again, this was sent from Ethan Crumley to that other individual. Is that correct? Correct, yes, sir. Now, sir, I'm going to back this up just a little bit. <clears throat> You're 25 years as a police officer. You've obviously handled firearms. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay, and you've seen... Um, the ammunition for firearms. Yes, sir. Okay, and you know how to properly load a handgun? Yes, sir. Okay. Tell me what's happening in this video. He inserted the magazine into the magazine well, and you could see the top of one of the bullets. Is that right here that I'm referring to? Yes, sir. Okay. Does that mean there's a round in the chamber there? As soon as that slide goes forward, there will be. Okay. And prior to this point with the video, this is at the very beginning of the video, what is this object right here that uh, appears to be vertical on the um, countertop? That's a handgun magazine. Okay. And what's in the handgun magazine? Those are bullets. Let me play that again so we can see it. And that was 
31. Sir, were there, was there a text message conversation in the midst of these videos being sent? Yes, sir. Okay. Judge, this is People's 32, and, and like People's 29, we made some changes to the redaction, so this will be a new copy for the court. The defense has this as well. Yeah, first of all. Yes. This is People's Proposed 32. And sir, once you take a look at it, could you please tell me if this is in the same text thread that we had admitted uh, People's 29, which is the text message thread between Ethan Crumbly and that other juvenile? Yes, sir, it okay. is. And what is the date and time of the first text message on that piece of paper there? The first message is a video, 8-19-2021 at 9.31 p.m. Okay, and that's the video that we watched in People's 30? Yes, sir. Okay. People move to admit Exhibit 32. Any objection? No objection. None from Mr. Hollick is admitted. Okay, thank you. Green is um, the owner, again, is that correct? correct? Yes, sir. Okay. And it has a phone number where it's sent to. And you said this attachment, the video was sent August 19, 2021 at 9.31 p.m.? Correct. Okay. I'm sorry, I have the same one. One moment, please. There we go. Okay. Okay, then we have a response to that video being sent. What is that response? The response from the other juvenile is nice. Okay, and there's <coughs> spelled correctly or incorrectly? No, there's a couple extra I's. N-I-I-I-C-E. -I 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 okay. And then what was the message from Ethan Crumbly? Ethan then says, shoot that Sunday, question mark. And that's August the 19th, 2021 at 9.34 p.m.? Correct, yes, sir. Okay, the next text. Ethan says, if you don't want to come to the range, to the gun range, that's fine. You can just tell me. No hard feelings. Okay, and the response to that? The other juvenile states, nah, I do, but it's just kind of hard for me to ask RN. What's RN mean? General, right now. Okay. And the response? Um, okay. And that was sent at August 19th, 2021 at 11.06 p.m.? Correct. Okay. Uh, response? Next, next text, please. From the other juvenile was yes. sorry. Okay. And then what did Ethan Crumbly write? It's okay. And the following text is an attachment, is that right? Correct, yes, sir. And that attachment is a video? Correct, yes, sir. And um, am I correct? That's August the 20th, 2021 at 12.30 a.m.? Correct, yes, sir. Okay, and that's the video that we saw in Exhibit 31? Yes, sir. Okay. And then the other person's re uh, response? Nice. Again, misspelled with three eyes. Okay. And please continue reading. The other juvenile then states, now pull the trigger. JK, 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 JK. And then there's, there doesn't appear to be any response in this text bubble from Ethan Crumley to that person. Is that right? Correct. All right. The next text, please. My dad left it out, so I thought, quote, why not? LOL. And what time do you write, my dad left it out, so I thought, why not? It would say at 12.32 a.m. on the morning of the 20th. August the 20th. Okay. And there's no response here, correct? Correct. All right, and then what did Ethan Crumbly write? He responds with, I cave, I know. Gun safety, so it's no problem. Please continue. Ethan then says, now it's time to shoot up the school. And the final text in this export? JK, 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 JK. Okay, that was sent from Ethan Crumley to this other individual, August the 20th, 2021 at 1234 a.m. Is that right? Correct, yes. Now, <clears throat> you reviewed this entire text message thread between Ethan Crumley and that individual. Is that right? Correct, yes, sir. And we have talked about the number of text messages. It's printed out to be over, I think you said 25,000 pages. Is that right? Yes, sir. Was there a time when this text message history just abruptly stopped yes sir and when was that it was middle around october around halloween time i believe is when it was of 2021 yes sir i'm sorry okay now sir during the review of the data extraction on ethan crumbly's phone what else did you observe no uh there was text messages back and forth between the other juvenile and him of um, kidnapping and killing another classmate 
There's also videos of killing um, and mutilating baby birds. Okay, anything else? Um, not that I can recall. Well, sir, are you able to look at his web history? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, I don't want to name the website, but was there a particular, um, on his web searching history, were you able to identify a particular website that he, identif that he visited quite often? Yes, sir. Okay. And just to give us an idea, how many times did he visit that particular site in the month of November of 2021? 421 times. And what were sort of some of the sort of things that he was searching? It was very graphic content. It dealt with other school shootings, particularly ones in Florida, um, and people being killed. Okay. Now, we've talked a lot about, you know, this was Ethan Crumley's phone, Jennifer Crumley's phone, James Crumley's phone, et cetera. Were you able to determine who actually owned Ethan Crumley's phone? Yes, sir. And who was that? Uh, James Crumbly was the owner on all the accounts. Okay. And he paid the bills? Yes, sir. Okay. Hey, one moment, Your Honor. During the course of your investigation, did you come to learn that there was more than one gun in the Crumbly home? Yes, sir. Okay, so we've been referring to the 9mm SIG. That was the firearm used in the actual shooting, am I right? Correct, yes, sir. Okay, what were the other firearms found in the Crumbly home? There was a Caltech, I believe. I believe it was a 22 caliber. And then there was a small um, Derringer. Okay. Now, the videos that we saw on People's 30 and 31, that, what kind of gun is that, if you can tell? That was the Caltech. Uh, 22 Caltech? Yes, sir. And that's also semi-automatic? Yes, sir. Thank you. I have nothing further. Good afternoon, ma'am. I want to go back to um, Exhibit 29, um, and really what I need to do is have you help me understand um, the reports. When you take stuff off of a Celebrate report, um, it's fair to say there's different ways you can extract the information, is that correct? Well, <clears throat> to be precise, it, take information off the, the data the, the, from the phone and then export reports from that data, yes. Okay, and when you testify that if, if messages are deleted, um, sometimes those will not come up in the report, is that correct? They won't come up in the extraction, the, the analyzation of the data, yes ma'am. Okay, so Your Honor, um, may I approach the witness with um, May I approach the witness with these materials? Just so I can what materials are those? Um, these are the texts between Ethan and the other young man that we've been discussing okay. on the record. They're not, they're, not they're, not, they're, not, they're not exhibits at this point. Okay. okay. You just need to make sure they're identified correctly, that's all. Okay. So. This is all one. Yeah. This is all, there's two separate files, okay. but I'm going to ask you about that. Okay, so detective, I just handed you a very large stack of papers and um, 
if you take a quick skim through it, it appears to be the all of the messages between Ethan Crumbly and his friend, um, who we're not identifying on the record, name starts with B. Does that does that appear true to you? That, that looks correct, yes, ma'am. Okay. So at my office, when I get your Celebrate report, um, I pulled up all of these messages, printed them, and brought them into court today. And if, if every page is there, you would agree with me that that's from the Celebrate report. Is that a fair statement? It came from, it's a Celebrate report, yes, ma'am. I can tell you that because the logo's on there. It looks like it should. I don't know if it, are you asking, is it every message that they share back and forth? Well, no, I, there'd be nowhere to verify that because there's so many thousands. Um, I'm, I'm just asking, if I'm telling you that I printed those off Celebrate, does that, does that look like what you would expect it to look like? I'm sorry, yes, ma'am, it does. Okay, so I want to turn your attention to Exhibit 29, which was admitted when the prosecution was um, questioning you. Your Honor, may I approach the witness? So what do you have? I have Exhibit 29. 29? Yes. Okay, and Exhibit 29 contains a series of text messages that were from April 4th, 2021. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and those messages specifically um, that were admitted in Exhibit 29, those messages did not print when I printed the messages. So I'm wondering if you can explain why the printouts I printed from Celebrate would be missing those, some of those messages. Without having where you printed that from and be able to examine it myself, there's no way I can tell you that. Okay, is it possible that those messages were deleted by the user of the phone? No, if it was in the, if it was in the original data that was given to you, it doesn't matter if it was deleted, it would still show, it would still be there. There is not, as far as you know, there is not a way to filter out um, dates if you print the entire thing as a whole, correct? Printing the entire thing as a whole? From the first text to the last? If, you, if it's, that's what this is, then that's what should be there, yes. And can you take a look at the text I printed from 4, 5 of 21, and can you show me where the texts on Exhibit 29 fall into that, where they, where they would be? I'm, I'm They're sorry, in order of date. I think we're gonna have, to, I'm gonna have to object here because Detective Borgowski has testified to the exhibits that we've admitted because he actually exported them using the Celebrate software. This was just handed to him five minutes ago. I didn't print out 25,000 text messages because I'm not going to admit 25,000 text messages. There's just no way for this officer to know that that is in fact the entire text thread between Ethan Crumbly and that other person. But she certainly can ask him about his particular date, and if it doesn't match up, it doesn't match up. In, in what Ms. Smith has handed, but we just don't know. See, we have an expert in cell phone forensics because it takes some skill to actually extract some of this ability, it takes some expertise, which he has. So we just don't know, it, it could quite frankly just be user error. We don't know if that is actually representative text thread, the entire text thread. There's no way to know from a paper printout. And Your Honor, in all honesty, um, accuracy and getting things right is what's important in this case, making sure that it's accurate. I don't understand why all of the texts are missing, many texts that the prosecution is using. I'm trying to understand that, but to be quite frank, I ask this court to adjourn so that we can explore this issue and figure this out. This is a very big deal that we are we do not have these texts. So just for clarification, are you asking them to identify whether or not the exhibit is the entire string of the text thread? I or can't have him because he didn't print that out. I all I can say is I printed it out as right. the entire so string. That, that's what you're asking. Does it? I I can ask. Does it appear to be the entire set of text no, messages? I, no. So you are, are you asking him to identify where exhibit 29, page one, falls in? Yes. Where those exhibits are? Yes, and they're in order by date. They're so order by date. So, Detective, if you could go to April 5th. 
Uh, yeah, if, if I could just. Go um, I mean, there ain't quite a lot to order. Yeah. There, there's one thing I, that I just stand. I don't know again um, if these are the the messages, the, the file path, the source info that this came from. That this right here is different than the source info here. They should be the same. I don't know why that is, but I'll look for the the text messages where they should be in here. Just look, it should be, this is the first one that I see for April 5th in this stack, and the next one, I'm sorry, Stan, let me just, I apologize. It shows April 5th there at 3.54 a.m. and then 3.17. So somewhere with in between these two dates, these two messages right here. So, so, so I mean, just so for clarification for my own purposes, when I'm looking at exhibit number 29 for the date of April 5th, I show eight bubbles of conversation or received inside. Anywhere from 12.38 a.m. through 12.39 a.m. Are you able to identify those bubbles in the stack? No, ma'am. No? No, ma'am. Okay. okay, Your Honor, um, I know this court heard our motion to adjourn earlier today. Counsel, co-counsel and I have been dealing with thousands and thousands of pages. We are very clearly missing pages that are being admitted as evidence in this case. I asked the court to adjourn and give us an opportunity to look into this issue. This is a very big deal. If, if they're admitting a few pages, and we don't have those in what's the entire printout, that, and that's happened with a couple of sections of it. That's a big problem for the defense. So they're not missing anything. This detective took the same program, the same evidence that we have at the prosecutor's office, we turned over to defense. She just didn't find it in the evidence that's been given to her. And this detective can testify to that. What he did exactly to export this, he just testified that the file path is different, the source file. If you export, and I don't want to testify myself, that's why we have an expert. Oh, that's why you have the expert. That's what you need to cross examine him on, is, is how he obtained this information. Um, so you certainly can cross examine him on that at this point in time about how he obtained the information that is, that, that is now marked as exhibit number 29. How did you obtain, how did you go through to obtain the information that's on exhibit 29? Within the whole, the whole uh, chat thread, text thread, you would uncheck every call, every message going back and forth, and just check the ones you want, and then just export as a PDF. So it's your testimony that you you went from all of the text messages, and I picked out the ones you wanted, checked those off, and printed those out. Is that correct? In separate reports, yes, ma'am. And so if my office printed out all the messages and we printed them out correctly, those messages should be in my complete stack. If printed correctly, yes, ma'am. Your Honor, I am asking the court to adjourn. They are printed correctly and we are missing messages. And if, if this is user error or an issue, this is something that needs to be determined. <clears throat>
course, is probably the court pit some uh, discussions with counsel on that. Um, due to the voluminous nature of the exhibits and the fact that we are not likely to finish with this witness today, we're going to go ahead and um, continue the exam on February 24th, starting at 8.30 a.m. Uh, if it's necessary for the court to add an additional day after the 24th, after the 24th we'll revisit that issue on that date and time. However, um, I am indicating to our parties that I have cleared that day specifically for this case, so we will have the full day. Um, as far as exhibits go, prosecutor, take all original exhibits with you. Um, everybody has their copies Thank you. and or technology and everything else. I just want to place on the record that when we were in chambers, we, uh, defense counsel identified two witnesses we asked about. If one of those witnesses is not going to be called, we just ask that they give us notice so we can subpoena that witness to be here. Sure. Thank you. The prosecution said they'd get that address, no problem, so thank you. Okay, thank you. Yeah, this okay. one's uh, okay, very well. Yeah. Both of yours? Yeah. Okay. I'll make sure. Thank you. Yep, yep.